The chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, applauded the interagency cooperation between his commission, the service chiefs, police and other security agencies for the synergy that has ensured the peaceful conduct of the just concluded general elections. Professor Mahmoud said this during the meeting of the Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security on the review of the 2023 general elections in Abuja on Friday. He says though elections in a multi-stakeholders activity, INEC drives the process and the security agencies secure the environment for the conduct of a peaceful election. We have had a very peaceful election, probably the best ever in our history. <laughs> and it is a credit to you and the personalities who are in charge, credible Nigerians, that you have done a good job, and we are sure it is recorded, and we're going to go into this one. The same thing with the team that supported that. We believe the work we are doing is what is going to help secure this country, stabilize it, make things work, and make democracy permanent with us forever and ever. As you are aware, Election is a multi-stakeholder activity. Although INEC drives the process, a secure environment for the conduct of peaceful election is the responsibility of the security agencies working in partnership with the Commission. The synergy enabled us to overcome many of the challenges prior to the 2023 general election, including the targeted attacks on INEC offices nationwide. Indeed, the concern that the perennial insecurity in some parts of the country before the election may make our deployment of personnel and materials and consequently the conduct of polls impossible did not materialize. We wish to place on record our appreciation to the security agencies and other members of ICSES for the largely peaceful conduct of the polls. At the same time, we should draw lessons from the challenges that occurred for the improved, uh, for improved performance, not only in the next general election, but also in the by-elections and also governorship elections, as well as other electoral activities to be held over the next three years. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.